Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Dr. Downey, and today I'm going to show you a TRT transformation. So with the popularity of TRT nowadays, I commonly get asked what to expect when starting TRT. Most of the questions revolve around what happens to your body, although some others are interested to see what happens to your mental state as well as health. So I'm going to share with you a TRT transformation, and this is the example of what TRT can do if you are hypogonadal becoming eugonadal. So essentially, this client of mine had low testosterone levels on blood tests and is now within the testosterone range. A lot of people who don't need TRT seem to be starting TRT and are disappointed with the results. And I'll get into this later, but there's no research suggesting that TRT will benefit you if you are eugonadal. What eugonadal means is that your testosterone range is, uh, levels are within range. So this video will mainly focus on what it can do to your body, as well as just looking at hormone results. So I was granted permission by one of my clients to share his progress along his TRT journey as well as the blood tests. And I think he is a good example of what a lot of men are experiencing nowadays. So this journey started when he was in his mid-twenties and has been less than a year. Essentially what happened to him is what happens to a lot of men looking for TRT. So previously he was very active and had a, quite an athletic build. He had the body that a lot of men would want. And over the, a period of about a year, he noticed that there was a decline in his libido mostly. However, on further questioning, he realized that his progress in the gym had been stalling and in fact regressing. And he found it incredibly difficult to put on muscle and he found that he was storing more fat, especially in the lower abdominal region. And in order to lose weight, in order to have visible abs, you'd have to go on extremely low amount of calories in the 2000 range, or low 2000s, high 1000s. And in this process, he would lose not only fat, but muscle at an equal ratio, which was not optimal. So I'll show you a picture of what he looked like during this period. So this prompted him to get his hormones, hormone levels checked. So as we can see here, he had low testosterone levels. Ignore the range, this is the range for females. However, so if you convert nanomoles to a per liter to the nanogram, or whichever system Americans use, that would convert to about 288 for someone in their mid-twenties. Clearly, there's a problem with his gonadotrophins also, as they were decreased. However, he wasn't interested in correcting that and just wanted to start on intramuscular injections. So he started on 100 milligrams a week of Pfizer uh, depot testosterone, which is just testosterone cypionate, pharma grade version. And after about two months of 100 milligrams every week, this is what his bloods look like. So as we can see, his testosterone levels are 23, which if you convert it to American, the units Americans use, it's about 662. But what is also of note is that you can see he is completely suppressed at two months of 100 milligrams a day. So whilst someone who is already hypogonadal is at a higher chance of being suppressed from exogenous hormones, this just goes to show that even if you run a cycle of two months, which is eight weeks, there is a high chance you will be completely suppressed, and that's why a PCT is necessary, no matter what dose or duration you use. But what most of you would like to see is what happened to his body. Well, in fact, his diet didn't have to change drastically, and he managed to put on muscle and lose fat simultaneously. And this was after about two to three months. And as you can see, he gained muscle as well as got extremely lean in the process. And his strength was continually improving. However, remember that he was active prior to becoming hypogonadal, so there is a portion of this being related to muscle memory and just the fact that he has experienced training, so not everyone is going to achieve this. But then there were issues, and the issues related to the supply of Pfizer testosterone depot, or 
the testosterone sibionate. It is still no longer being produced and is out of stock. The only available alter alternative is either Nibido test, which is testosterone under weight, which is quite expensive, or Sustanon 250 milligrams in little vials. So he started on Sustanon 250 milligrams at about one amp every two weeks. This is not optimal. I've spoken of, I've spoken about dosing protocols, and he realized this, so he upped it to 250 every week. However, the post-injection pain was incredibly painful, and he noticed that even on 250 milligrams a week, his libido was declining and his progress was stalling again. So this prompted him to get a test, and on the blood test we can see here that his testosterone had become hypogonadal again. And as we can see here, this is how his body changed, and it changed quite rapidly upon starting Sustanon. He gained fat easily, or especially around the abdominal region, and he started losing strength. So this led to him wanting to purchase underground lab gear. Since he responded so well to testosterone cypionate, he really wanted to start using it again, and the only way that was possible was through underground lab gear. And as I have mentioned previously in another video, underground lab gear, especially testosterone, is quite commonly overdosed just because clients will get better results and this leads to them going back to that brand. And this was shown in his blood test because after a month of being on this UGL or underground lab gear, at the same dose he was using when on pharma, testoster pharma grade testosterone, these were his testosterone levels. And as we can see, his testosterone levels have gone way above the therapeutic range, and his estrogen obviously spiked along with that, and he was suppressed again. However, he didn't really mind, and it was his personal preference. He actually enjoyed being at this level and said he felt even better at being at a higher level. Now, it's not best to be super physiological all the time. However, this decision was his. There was another issue that occurred, and that was that the brand he had been using was no longer easily accessible, and he had lost access to this UGL, or Underground Lab, brand. So he started on a different brand, and after starting on this brand, he noted again that his libido started decreasing. He was using testosterone cypionate in this case from a different brand. And as we can see here, his testosterone levels are actually not that bad, they're mid-range, but this just goes to show that there is a massive inconsistency in dosing amongst UGL products and amongst different brands. And this is why I don't really suggest going doing TRT if you do not have access to pharma-grade testosterone, as your hormone levels will fluctuate, especially if you swap and use different brands because they are not being held accountable to any standard and dosing inaccuracies are more common than you think they are. However, if it is your only option, then that decision is up to you. So in conclusion, I just wanted to show you what could happen to a hypogonadal man when they become eugonadal. And this is quite a common example of what happens. You gain strength, lose fat, and you feel a lot better. I'm not using this video to promote TRT or myself in any circumstance. However, I just wanted to use this to respond to a lot of questions I get about how it can change your body. So remember that if you are eugonadal, however, or well, your hormones are in within range, you might not respond as well as he did. If you're on the lower end of the range, perhaps you might. And I have made videos on this, so if you want to watch them, you can just search in my playlists. But essentially those videos show that there is a lot of evidence lacking when it comes to TRT in men with normal hormone levels. The evidence is inconclusive as to whether it benefits you in terms of muscle gain. However, in terms of men who are hypogonadal or have low testosterone levels, there are a lot of papers that show that they can benefit quite drastically from the addition of TRT. So, 
I just felt like sharing that transformation with you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next